almost a, a year, uh, I, I was realized that uh, ITUT uh, covers a uh, wide range of the technologies field, uh, from the tr transport network, um, multimedia, and uh, IoT, and smart cities, so on, so wide. And also, in addition to that, uh, ITUT covers some operational issues, uh, important issues for like uh, numbering and economical uh, aspect. So it, uh, those uh, areas are very important for to continue to work on, on that. So if I take one thing for the new things, uh, that it will be a metaverse. Uh, actually, the, a year ago, we created a new uh, focus group on metaverse. Uh, it started work on March this year. Uh, many huge participation from around the world. So it shows that some uh, great interest from the other industries as well as uh, uh, telecom, of course. So we, we need to enhance such activities more and more. And then one more thing about uh, AI, uh, we have uh, some activities, AI for good, uh, for achieve, uh, for help uh, AI, how AI help the uh, uh, realization of the sustainable development goals. Also, uh, we, but now we have uh, some different aspect uh, coming now uh, because uh, we are all uh, focusing on the good aspect for AI. How AI utilized for sustainable development goals. But we need to see the, some negative aspect, how min minimize the impact of the a AI uh, bad aspect. So uh, such uh, uh, AI governance issues raised now. So we need to uh, move on the wider, wider coverage of the AI aspects. Actually, for re uh, regarding the rollout of 5G, I have uh, from personal views because until last year, I, was, I worked for the mobile operator in Japan. So I have a lot of experience in uh, mobile in industries. So uh, I have some views, uh, actually, the, for 5G. Uh, that's very good uh, as, uh, development pace, but uh, uh, still some difference in the regions. Also, uh, I would say that 5G is successful, success or failure. I would say that it have not yet reached to the great success. I mean, the, I have uh, I set some uh, roads of mobile communication generations. My uh, my statement is that uh, great success only in even numbered generation. So five is no, <laughs> not even number. So uh, we need to. Act, uh, uh, expects of 6G from now on, but this is just joking. So, uh, so we need to make 5G a great success uh, through uh, cross-industry cross cooperation. So, and uh, when look at the standardization, uh, we have uh, for the mobile, uh, we have a concrete framework for standardization with a 3GPP. That is a very good uh, framework. First, ITU, uh, more precisely, ITU are uh, defined the vision and framework. So based on that, that vision, uh, 3GPP create, uh, develop uh, detailed technical specifications. So uh, then finally, uh, through the regional uh, SDOs, it will be uh, referred by the uh, ITU recommendation that then the uh, that, that specification uh, can be used for the uh, around the world. That that's a very good uh, uh, framework for the standardization. And uh, for the 5G, 5G evolution is now uh, 5, 3GPB is working on that. So, so I, I I don't see any problem with that. Risk of divergence is there, but uh, our process is consensus-based. So 
the uh, risk of divergence is um, very small. But challenge is the speed, speed to uh, respond to the technical, rapid technical changes. So uh, to do that, uh, we have some collaboration with other organizations. As, as I said, in the CGPP framework is a very good example. And also we, have, uh, we need to have a common understanding, common views uh, with uh, many members. Uh, among men members uh, with regular basis. So uh, after this, after this, uh, f uh, we will start a CXO meeting in this year in D Dubai. So uh, it is one uh, good opportunity to uh, exchange the views of the um, decision makers in you know, uh, private sectors. So we, we need to enhance such opportunity to uh, define this, uh, to have a more quicker consensus in the, in the industries. My strong belief is that uh, simulation will be meaningful only when it was widely deployed. So, uh, widely deployed implementation, implementation and uh, adoption, widely used, that is very important. So, in that sense, Industry players play a great role, significant role in implementing the standards. So uh, I, I also, uh, also the ITT is now discussing the how to increase the uh, industry engagement. So it's very important to, to implement, in, implement the standards. So uh, that's why uh, so, uh, the industry engagement for the ITT activities. Not specific Asia, but uh, uh, in general, standardization standards will help uh, regional development, so including Asia. So, uh, of course, we, we, I know some difference in the development status, in the economic status. So we need to tackle uh, tax the challenge in the uh, how to minimize bridging the standardization gap. We have some activities. Uh, encouraging uh, participation from developing countries. But at the same time, I, as I said, implementation of standards is very important. So I like to focus more on implementation part of the uh, bridging standardization gap activities. That I want to encourage such activities. Data transformation very important. Actually, ITU as a whole uh, set up um, two strategic goals. Uh, one is a sustainable de a sustainable uh, data transformation. So uh, I will uh, contribute that to achieve it through standardization. 